I am a huge kitchen gadget junkie just like you guys, but the last thing I want to do is fill up my cupboards with gadgets that I never ever use. These two are an exception to that rule. Nice thing about both of them as well is they're not electrically powered, so in the event of a power outage, you can make a terrific meal for your family using manual labor. First up is a spiralizer. Essentially what it allows you to do is turn any, well not any vegetable, but most vegetables into kind of a pasta or a spiral. Perfect if you love pasta but you don't like eating wheat. Second is kind of a caveman version of a food processor. It is a mortar and pestle. A lot of you guys probably already have this in your kitchen but have forgotten about it. I'm gonna make you fall back in love with this piece of kit. So let me show you what I wanna do. First up is my spiralizer. I've got a zucchini here that I've just chopped the end off. That's gonna help the spiralizer hold it in place firmly. I'm gonna push the rod through the zucchini and then I push the handle into it, hold it secure, and you are making zucchini pasta. I picked up both the spiralizer and this mortar and pestle from one of my favorite stores, Lee Valley. They sell all kinds of weird and wonderful kitchen odds and ends, and both of them are great commercial kitchen quality. Okay, my zucchini pasta is done. How easy is that? 30 seconds. Now I'm onto my mortar and pestle pesto. We'll start off with your garlic clove. Always want to use a good pinch of salt when you're mincing your garlic. That's going to help bust it up. Next up, I'm going to throw in my chopped basil. Add a little bit of oil if you need to, just to help mix it up. Pine nuts in there. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Nothing beats classic pesto in a mortar and pestle. The reason why is that when you macerate and smash the garlic and the basil, you get so much more essential oils out of it than if you do in a food processor because what a food processor does is it cuts it with a blade. Now I'm gonna combine this pesto with my zucchini pasta and we're almost done. A Little bit more of that on top, for the cracked pepper. You cannot get that level of flavor in a pesto from a food processor and certainly from store-bought pesto. Good old manual labor. We all love our electrical appliances, but that took me maybe five minutes. I got a beautiful fresh dish from a spiralizer and a mortar and pestle. I would love you guys to give it a shot. Let me know what you think and we'll chat soon.